Hello there, welcome back to my 2022 makeup favorites. Looking back over a year of content to refresh my memory, reflect on what I enjoyed at different times and condense it into one list did feel a little bit like Taylor Swift trying to plan her eras to a set list too much to work with. So I decided to deliver my favorites in a double episode. In part one linked below, you'll find concealer, base, brows, bronze, glow and blush. This time it's all about eyes and lips, eyeshadow, palettes, sticks and liner, mascara, sheer lipsticks, regular lipsticks and glosses. A lot of top products I've already told you about and some off camera friends. Don't worry, skincare favorites and hair and body favorites are on the way in the new year as well and you'll find discount codes in the description box. Let's start with my single shadow selections. One of the formulas I grabbed most, Armani Eye Tints, a really thin liquid that's easy to blend because it's not too intense and very long wearing. 23 Camel Smoke is a fantastic light tan matte, devastatingly discontinued I think, and 27 Sunset is a luminous metallic pale pink for a bit of a glow. For last year and this year's Christmas and New Year's, it's Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lurex. Creamy but light liquids packed with pearls for such a radiant finish. I have a few of her coppery rosy shades, but Topaz, Taupe, Angelica might be my surprise favorite. Glamorous in a really wearable way. Much more muted with a no makeup makeup favorite, Dior Mono Couleur Couture in Rosewood Matte. I found this soft rosy brown through a random DM on Instagram. If that was you, thank you very much. Much, a subtle way to almost sculpt your eyelids and enhance them. Blush as eyeshadow alert. When I saw this Chanel Blush Lumiere in Brown Russi from their spring summer collection this year, it just said shadow color to me. Roasted, ready brown, brilliant shadow color, plus a touch of gold shimmer so it never looks stark or severe. An unusually brown and neutral year in my palette preferences, the M Cosmetics Divine Skies palette in Rodin was part of daily looks a lot early in the year from their masterpiece collection. Always appreciate art references in beauty, Lisa Eldridge is the master of it. I kept dipping into the light brown, rosy clay and deeper brown mattes in particular. More True Browns with Makeup by Mario Master Mattes. Every shade you could possibly need if you're browsing for matte browns. Love the soft tans, warm and classic mid-tone browns and deeper ready browns as a wash all over the lid, along the lash line or a bit of a combination. Late in the year, all about Charlotte Tilbury Easy Eye Palette in Super Nudes. I played with this before a wedding and discovered how beautifully dressy and elegant but easy these shades are. Six satins, a cooler date trio and a great warm day trio I love combining. Charlotte Tilbury discount code below. Had to have some shadow sticks here, of course. Mecca Max, an in-house brand at Australia's biggest beauty retailer, Mecca, launched matte zoom shadow sticks, and they don't get enough attention. Super smooth, long-lasting, creamy color. Dusty Rose was a friend to my green eyes and almost salmony pink when you shear it out. My rediscovery of Laura Mercier caviar sticks continued, some of the best in the business. Nude Rose is a rosy golden shimmer that I often added into the mix with brown shadow looks, popping a bit of a bright tightening pop along the top and lower lash line or inner corners. A new liner in my life to replace Glossier Color Slide in Candyland. Remember that 2019 favorite? Chanel Stilo Yo Waterproof in Rose Cuivre is a delightful, deep, coralish coppery pink shimmer that you can be really sneaky with but it makes such an impact opening up the eyes. For a smoky going all out wedding guest look my makeup artist friend used Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal in Barbarella Brown which I luckily had at home and got back into wearing afterwards. Creamy, smooth, intense colour so it suits winged liner or a smudgy style. Three mascaras that made an impact. Dior's Dior Show Iconic Overcurl Mascara is here again. My everyday mascara for most of the year. As a volume lover, it has nice length and volume without being too much during the day. I rediscovered an older Dior pick through my celebrity makeup bag research for Lily Collins and Tracy Ellis Ross. Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara has a lot more oomph but isn't clumpy or heavy. Then a points perk mascara I've been meaning to repurchase. Lisa Eldridge was involved in formulating Lancôme's Lash Idole, so I wasn't surprised I enjoyed it so much. Less volume than the others, more natural length and lift. The superior sheer balmy lip products of the year, Merit Signature Lip is the winner. That's it. You can go home, everyone. We've got a perfect sheer lightweight lipstick here. Everything I could possibly want in a sheer formula. 
balmy, buildable, incredibly comfortable, love the range, but Berry Brown Lavenue is the best. After a big Dior lip glow swatching session, I'd say Mahogany is really the only one you need to know about. A delicious, chocolatey, deep nude with a balmy feel and peppermint scent. If you love a black honey, my lips but deeper shade, this is a deep chocolate with a deep pink core. You know a sheer lipstick made by Lisa Eldridge will be magical. The luxuriously lucent lip colour formula has been around for a while now, but my love for it continues to grow each year. Warm, modern rosewood spirited away is meant to skate between brown, red and pink tones. A late launch that shot straight into this list was 1999 Beauty's Tinted Matte Balm in Terra. Meant to be a sheer, moisturising, satin matte balm in a universal plum for lips, cheeks, and eyes. My ideal multitasking, balmy yet matte, bitten lip, plummy brown, fresh from Canada. 1999 code below. Moving to regular lipstick formulas, but sneaking in a sheer first. Bobbi Brown crushed lip colour in Italian Rose, you're still the one. A back-to-back -back favourite colour, forever favourite formula, always what I have in my bag for a wash of satin matte, balmy, blotted, buildable, my perfect everyday warm pink until I find a better flush of colour. Building to a bolder everyday warm pink, Chanel Rouge Alloua Velvet in Bois de Rose Astral. This is a deeper, richer rose in one of my top creamy matte formulas, plus some extremely fine gold shimmer. Trust me though, not a glittery lipstick gal, but it just makes it look slightly luminous, not flat. Bridgerton was back and brought with it another Pat McGrath collab. I initially called this creamy satin allure shade negligee a perfect my lips but better colour, but it's actually almost my exact lip colour, a neutral pink peachy beige boost with a light feel. More satins in future please Pat. This Rouge Dior Forever Liquid in Forever Grace is meant to represent this formula as a whole. Wore three different shades to three weddings this year, which is a true sign of how much I trust its weightless wear time. Forever Grace is called a deep rosewood, but it's like a brighter, pinker walk of no shame. I went on a big shiny lip exploration this year, but reached for this trio most. Without being able to access the Dior Lip Glow Oil shade Mahogany in Australia yet, the shade Universal Clear was actually my preferred option this year. Obsessed with this medium weight oil meets gloss texture, and Clear is actually a hint of soft pink, but a lot more low key than the other Dior pinks. I made the call this year, Charlotte Tilbury Collagen Lip Bath is one of my favourite glosses of all time. Pepperminty, smooth, but slightly tacky like a satisfying old school gloss. Walk of No Shame is an excellent berry rose, like a sleek, shiny version of a bitten lip. Third year in a row for Kosas Wet Lip Oil Gloss, well done. A lot thinner than the Dior Lip Glow Oils, much closer to an oil consistency with a balmy slip to it. Dip is a neutral pearly nude for a touch of colour or a slick of non-sticky shine over a natural lipstick shade. That's a wrap on this two-part makeup favourites extravaganza. So fun doing a double episode and a nice way to break up a lot of work behind the scenes. So please let me know if you enjoyed it. Make sure you join me in the comments to share all of your favourite eye and lip products of 2022 as well. Thank you for supporting my content again this year and being some of the sweetest people to walk the face of the internet. It's so special to get to connect with you every week and form internet friendships over a love of the same lipstick or new Lisa Eldridge launch. I'll see you in 2023 for another year of beauty, starting with my skincare favourites recap. Wishing you all a very happy new year. Thanks for watching. See you next time.